The five must-have skills of a cloud engineer. These took me from $3,000 to $20,000 a month. I went from a failing student at 18 to running my own cloud security business at 28. I have a cloud academy with hundreds of students and I built this YouTube channel to over 100,000 subscribers whilst working full-time as a cloud engineer. And now I'm bringing you the five must-have skills that I learned along my journey. Before we get started, check out my daily cloud newsletter. And if you sign up, you will get a free cloud beginner's guide for a limited time only. So be quick. The first must have skill is proficiency in a major cloud provider. I'm talking AWS, Azure, and GCP, but especially AWS. AWS is the market leader with 19% growth and $26.2 billion in revenue. Being proficient in AWS means architecting solutions, managing resources, and following AWS best practices. Now you wanna focus on core AWS services, EC2 for compute, S3 for storage, RDS for databases, and Lambda for serverless. You wanna learn networking with VPC and Route 53. Understand security using IAM, and don't forget about cost optimization. Now, how do you do that? Well, firstly, you want to start up by setting up a free tier AWS account. Experiment with the core services. Now, you don't need to know every AWS services because they start to phase a few out, but you want to understand the core concepts and best practices. Also, consider getting the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate to solidify your knowledge. Now, look, I know AWS can seem overwhelming with over two 200 services, but mastering it opens up so many job opportunities, especially for those in the UK and in the US, because companies are desperately needing cloud engineers who can use AWS effectively. And with your newfound AWS expertise by building projects, you'll have your pick of jobs in this high demand and growing field. The second must have skill is mastering networking. Now, if cloud computing is an orchestra, networking is the stage it performs on. It's all about orchestrating how data moves and communicates in the cloud. It's basically the backbone of any system. Now, to excel, you need to master virtual networking concepts like network security, load balancing, DNS management, and various connectivity options. But you need to have a basic understanding of IP addressing, subnets, and routing before you actually dive into cloud-specific networking models. To get experience, set up a lab environment to gain hands-on experience, focusing on network security from the very beginning. You wanna practice troubleshooting with tools like Traceroute. You wanna develop skills with networking diagrams because these will help you visualize and communicate your designs effectively. Now remember, networking knowledge is what separates cloud users from the cloud masters. It's a foundational skill that every top cloud engineer must possess, making it indispensable in this field. While it might seem less glamorous than all the other aspects of cloud engineering, this expertise in networking is crucial for success in cloud environments. The next must have skill might be the most important one, and it's no other than cloud security. Cloud security is a critical skill for any cloud engineer, and its importance cannot be overstated. In essence, it's about protecting data, applications, and infrastructure associated with cloud computing. As businesses increasingly move their operations to the cloud, the need for robust, secure, and strong security measures has gone through the roof. But why is cloud security so important? Well, cloud environments present unique challenges. Data is stored off-site, accessed over the internet, and often shared across multiple users' devices and applications. This flexibility is a double-edged sword. It offers convenience, but also opens up new areas for cyber threats, from data breaches to account hijacking. The risk are real and they are constantly evolving. Now to master cloud security, you need to 
start with a solid foundation in general cybersecurity principles. This includes understanding concepts like confidentiality, integrity, availability, threat modeling, and basic cryptography. Once you have this foundation, you can then apply these principles to cloud-specific scenarios. A key area to focus on is identity and access management. In the cloud, IAM, is your first line of defense. It's about ensuring that only authorized users can access your resources and only in ways that you intend. This involves creating and managing user identities, setting up role-based access control, and implementing multi-factor authentication. Next, you need to understand encryption, both at rest and in transit. This is crucial for protecting sensitive data stored in the cloud and ensuring secure communication between cloud services. You wanna learn about the different encryption algorithms, key management, and how to implement encryption in various cloud services. Finally, you need to master threat detection and incident response. This involves setting up logging and monitoring systems, understanding how to analyze security events, and developing plans for responding to potential security incidents. Now let's talk about a tool that can significantly aid your cloud security journey, Sneak who have kindly sponsored this video. In today's cloud-first world, security cannot be an afterthought, and that's where Sneak shines. It integrates seamlessly with AWS services, acting like a vigilant security expert on your team. Sneak continuously checks your code, dependencies, containers, and even your infrastructure as code configurations. It's designed to make your life easier, not harder. You can actually sign up using my code sneak.co slash Suleiman and you'll get Sneak for free forever. Once you've signed up, just import your repos and Sneak will start finding and fixing vulnerabilities in real time, even opening fixed pull requests for easy merges. Now, what's more exciting, Sneak integrates with tools like AWS Code Pipeline for scanning open source packages and Amazon ECR for container image scanning. This enables you to easily build and run secure applications on AWS, adding an extra layer of protection to your cloud environment. Remember, in the cloud, security is an ongoing journey, not a destination. The threat landscape is always evolving, and so should your skills. By mastering cloud security and leveraging tools like Sneak, you become an invaluable asset to any company. In today's digital world, cloud engineers who can build secure systems in the cloud are in high demand. So take the first step and sign up for Sneak at sneak.co slash Suleiman and start securing your cloud projects. It's an investment in your skills that will pay dividends throughout your career as a cloud engineer. Now the next must have skill for a cloud engineer is mastering DevOps. DevOps bridges the gap between development and operations, ensuring smooth, efficient, and reliable software delivery. It's like conducting a complex orchestra, harmonizing all parts of the software development lifecycle. Now, skills in DevOps goes into several key areas. It involves automating processes from code testing to deployment, managing infrastructure often by treating it as code, implementing robust system monitoring, and continuously improving development and deployment processes. Now, to excel in DevOps, you need to master a few technologies and concepts. Containerization with Docker is fundamental, allowing you to package applications for consistent performance across different environments. CICD is also important because it creates an automated assembly line from code commit to production. Then you have IAC infrastructure's code, which enables management of infrastructure through code, making it versionable, replicable, and scalable. Monitoring and logging acts as your radar systems, providing real-time insights into your applications and your infrastructure. Now, I must talk about Kubernetes. Whilst it's a powerful tool for container orchestration, Kubernetes is not a beginner skill, and I'm sick of people telling you to learn it. It's an advanced, complex system requiring deep understanding of containerization, 
networking, and distributor systems. The Kubernetes that you learn in a typical online course on Udemy or on YouTube is just the tip of the iceberg compared to running it in production for large enterprises. It's a skill to aspire to learn, but not where you start your cloud engineer journey on. Now, a key tip is to create a personal project incorporating all of these tools that I've mentioned. Perhaps develop a simple web application with a database backend, containerizing it, setting up a CI CD pipeline, but defining the whole thing with infrastructure as code and then also monitoring it. This hands on experience is invaluable to mastering DevOps skills. Remember, DevOps is about continuous learning and improvement. It may seem daunting initially, but with practice and persistence, you'll wonder how you ever even worked without it. As you progress, you'll explore more advanced topics like Kubernetes. And always keep in mind that in DevOps, practical experience trumps theoretical knowledge every single time. Now the fifth must have skill for a cloud engineer is mastering programming and scripting. This skill is about speaking the language of computers. Now, building expertise in programming and scripting will involve several key aspects. Programming is fundamentally about solving problems turning ideas into working software, making you a digital puzzle solver. Python is a must-know language in the cloud world. It's versatile, relatively easy to learn, and widely used for everything from data analysis to automation scripts. I also recommend looking at TypeScript too. Shell scripting is a key component of programming for cloud engineers allowing you to talk directly to the operating system, automate any repetitive task, and manage systems at scale. Additionally, the ability to read and understand code in various languages is also very important because you'll be working with a diverse set of teams and code bases. Now to start your programming journey, you wanna begin by choosing a language. Python is highly recommended for beginners due to its readability and the abundance of free learning resources. You wanna start with the basics like variables, loops, and conditionals, which form the building blocks of programming. Then you wanna move on to building something real. Don't just follow tutorials come up with a small project idea and build it from scratch. This could be a script to analyze your AWS billing or a tool to monitor your cloud resources. Consistency is key with all of these skills, but especially programming. Try to practice every day, even if it's just 30 minutes. Remember, the goal isn't to become a software engineer, but to be comfortable enough with code to automate tasks and understand how applications work in the cloud. Now, a pro tip is to start a GitHub account and commit code daily, even small scripts or even a few lines of code that represents progress. This habit not only improves your skills, but also builds a portfolio to showcase your potential employers. Once you start seeing results like automating your first task or building your first cloud application, you'll likely find the process addictive. The feeling of creating something from nothing is incredibly rewarding and motivating. These five must-have skills will set you on the path to becoming a successful cloud engineer. But remember, this is just the beginning of your journey. If you are looking for a comprehensive, hands-on roadmap that can take you from zero to job-ready cloud engineer, then my Cloud Engineer Academy is designed just for you. I created this academy with people like you in mind. Those who might not have a traditional background or who are concerned about their future prospects in their current field, especially with the rise of AI, and automation. I know what it's like to feel like you're just starting from scratch. I left school with just a few GCSEs and understand the feeling of watching others progress faster than you. I also know that with the right guidance and determination, anyone can break into this exciting and lucrative field. And at the Cloud Engineer Academy, we focus on practical real world skills. We're not just about theory, we're all about doing. Our system and approach has already helped over 200 students make the switch to cloud engineering. The Academy provides the tools and guidance that work for me when everything else was failing, leading me to where I am today, working for myself and having the freedom to travel whenever I want and ultimately work from wherever I want. The cloud industry is growing faster than ever and it needs people like you, problem solvers, 
thinkers, individuals who aren't afraid to roll up their sleeves and dive in head first. The opportunity is within your reach. You just need the right tools and the guidance. Now, don't let fear hold you back. And you can check out the Cloud Engineer Academy linked in my description below. Remember, it's not your fault if you haven't had this opportunity before, but it is your responsibility to take advantage of it now. And if you can't join the Cloud Engineer Academy, do not worry. I've got tons and tons of free resources to get you started on my YouTube channel and in my newsletter. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time for another one. Peace.